A legal victory for transgender rights could have a ripple effect across the nation. An appellate court upheld a lower court's ruling saying a Hobby Lobby craft store violated Illinois' anti-discrimination laws when the store denied a trans employee access to the women's bathroom. NBC News legal analyst Danny Sabalos explained. Megan Somerville, a trans woman, has worked in an Aurora, Illinois Hobby Lobby for over 20 years and has been denied access to the women's restroom since transitioning in 2010. Somerville filed a complaint in 2013 with the Illinois Human Rights Commission after she was disciplined for using the women's bathroom at work. It took until 2019 for the commission to rule that the company's policy was illegal and it violated the Illinois Human Rights Act. The act prohibits discrimination in Illinois with respect to employment, financial credit, public accommodations, housing and sexual harassment, as well as sexual harassment in education. Illinois Second District Appellate Court has upheld a lower court ruling that Hobby Lobby violated Somerville's rights. If Hobby Lobby decides to continue appealing the decision, it could go to the Illinois Supreme Court and from there to the United States Supreme Court. The attorney for Hobby Lobby did not respond to NBC News request for comment. Hobby Lobby did win a landmark Supreme Court case in 2014. Burwell v. Hobby Lobby decided that for-profit companies have some protections for religious beliefs. In particular, that Hobby Lobby didn't have to provide contraception as part of their health insurance coverage for employees, as the Affordable Care Act tried to mandate. Back to the transgender case. Somerville told Forbes, this is a precedent-setting case in Illinois because the Human Rights Act has never been tested this way in Illinois and actually in the country. This isn't the first case to challenge discrimination because someone is LGBTQ. In Bostock v. Clayton, the Supreme Court decided that a person could not be fired because they are transgender or homosexual. In 2020 in America, it was still okay to discriminate against people because of their sexual orientation or identity. Well. Now it isn't because of the Supreme Court. This case could take that decision one step further and question whether an employer can deny bathroom access. The controversy of bathroom access goes beyond the workplace. The bathroom bill, as it is known, has sparked debate in different public places, schools, parks, government buildings, and more. In North Carolina, Charlotte passed an ordinance August 9th that would protect residents from sexual orientation and gender identity discrimination in different public areas. It could be a turning point in a state that just five Five years ago blocked Charlotte from passing a similar ordinance. Somerville still works at Hobby Lobby, where she is the manager of custom framing. She now can use the women's restroom. It is unclear what the next steps will be in this specific case, but the implications of this decision on the state level could influence what cases the Supreme Court chooses to hear.